Hi guys, welcome back. Today I want to show you this really super cool tool I bought. It's the multi-cut three-in-1 cutting tool. It is like so amazing I couldn't help but to share it with you. And I'm going to show you the little package it came with, you know, the instruction manual. And it says in here that you can cut vegetables with it, you can cut rope, cables, plastic chain, tree limbs, and leather. Okay, so I bought this online. I have no idea what I paid for it because I ordered it three months ago when I seen an ad on Facebook and I thought I have got to get that and try it out because it looked like it'd be pretty interesting. All right, so if you watch this tutorial, we made some shelves using this tool. All right, and I took some of this wood and I cut it. Now, I want to show you how good this cuts the wood. All right, this is what it looks like. It's got some pretty cool things. You can kind of adjust this here. bringing it lower, which actually gives you a point there. So if you want to open a box or whatever, you can. And then it closes it back up. Here's for wire. This actually locks the tool. Well, when you push it up, it locks the tool. All right, it's got some really nice grip handles. Here's a little warning um, and safety tips and stuff. All right, so here's some of the things I've cut. This little piece here I've cut, and this was like a piece of plastic, and it really did, you know, cut it. I'll show you real quick. It cuts it like scissors. It's so cool. All right. This is another piece of plastic. Just cuts it right up. Okay. This one's already cut. I don't have a second one of those to show you that. Then it cuts some wood. Um, it cuts skinny sticks really easy or coffee stirrers. If you have a popsicle stick, it'll cut that too. All right, look at this pencil. It actually cut the pencil. All right, you ready? Watch. Like butter. Now I feel bad I wasted a whole pencil, but you get the point. When you have those ink pens and you really just, they don't really work or they skip a lot and you don't want to use them, just take the bottom part out, throw it in the trash, and then you have this piece here. Or if you have a kid that likes to chew on your ink pens, then, you know, you can't really use it. But if you have this tool, you can just cut it just like that. Then you can use it as a lamp base with, you know, a spot to put wiring inside or whatever pretty much anything okay so here is a round dowel look at that and then I want to show you something you see that now look how thin that is and you can make it even thinner if you want like paper thin even I mean like just check that out all right so I'm going to cut another piece of this off so you can see me cut this actual wood. Now the wood I got from Home Depot. All right. Now I'm going to go ahead and put it in here. I'm going to do a really thin one first. Look at that. Super, super thin. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and line that up with that. And then there's a little bit thicker. All right, I'm gonna do it again. And then there you have it. You can take your popsicle stick or your skinny stick or your coffee stirrer. If you wanna go ahead and make some shelves, I showed you how to do that using this tool. Clip it, be very, very careful. Do not cut yourself because it will hurt. This is a very, very sharp blade. I have to tell you, it's extremely sharp because it's cutting right through this stuff like it's butter. I mean, I'm not even giving it any pressure. It's just going right through it with nothing at all. All right. So I just really wanted to show you this and um, to show you some of the things that you can do. I mean, you can make lots and lots of stuff with this tool, I'm sure. And it's gonna save you a lot of time. 
I mean, it just cuts like scissors. And then I want to show you something else too. Like this here, okay, the edge is very, very flat, very, very um, sharp cut. Okay, there's no bend in it. But if I cut this with a pair of scissors, whether it be a good pair or a cheap pair, this is a cheap pair. I want to show you the difference. Okay, it does not want to cut it very good. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but it's like rounded at the end. It's not perfectly square where the end that we cut before, other than the splinters from the actual wood, it's completely squared off. Okay, so there's that. And then this is titanium scissors. All right, and then this one actually started to split. Do you see that? It's got like that split right there. Let's try that again. All right, it's rounded there back's flat didn't split that time but when we cut it with this tool it doesn't matter how close we get it's still flat on that end so I think this would be a really cool tool if you're doing hardwood floors and you're making them yourself out of the skinny sticks or the coffee stirs now this is a seven inch coffee stir that I ordered off of Amazon and they are actually much nicer than the skinny sticks, believe it or not. And so that's just some of the things that I've been able to cut. And I just got this tool in the mail yesterday. It's the multi-cut tool. And uh, I just want to share it with you because I thought it was awesome. Um, I don't know. You might not think it is as awesome as I do. But, I mean, something that cuts wood that simple. And I don't have to break out this little miter box to do it, which takes forever. And then it makes a mess. I'll go with this. In fact, I bought two of them, one for my house and one for my dad's house. And I'm seriously thinking of ordering more um, because I'm afraid they won't have them again. Now they do sell extra blades so that you can buy the extra blades. And then the blades go right down here in this insert. If I can figure out how to get it out. Well, it does come out. I just, oh, there we go. I had to get my nail behind it. And then the blades are in there. And they just slide right up in there so you have them. And then the refills are right here. Now, as far as um, the price and stuff, like I said, I can't really remember what I paid for it. I don't know if it was like 40 bucks or something. So, I mean, it was kind of pricey, but, you know, for everything that it came with, I think that's great. But go to, um, let's see. Multicuttips.com is what it says. All right. Well, thanks for watching. And don't forget to follow Dollhouse Mentor Madness and tutorials.com. Like and subscribe and leave a question, suggestion, or comment below. And we will see you next time. And check out dollhousetutorials.com too. You'll really enjoy all the printables and the free um, furniture templates and stuff that we offer there. All right. Thanks a lot. Have a wonderful day.